The NTSB today continued their on-scene investigation into Thursday's head-on crash between a FedEx truck and a bus carrying kids on a college tour. Ten people were killed in the crash on Interstate 5, about 100 miles north of Sacramento, including five students, three chaperones, and both drivers. The biggest question remains, why did the truck leave its lane? Investigators are reviewing the driver's cell phone records and medical history in the hope of finding out. Here's Mark Albert. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board continued today examining the charred frames of the charter bus and FedEx semi-trailers. They're also now sifting through conflicting witness accounts. Some of the first eyewitnesses to come forward after Thursday's horrific crash were Bonnie and Joe Duran. They said the big rig was already on fire when it crossed the interstate median, sideswiped their sedan, and crashed head-on into the bus. I looked over and saw the FedEx truck coming straight for me and he was in flames already. The FedEx truck was already on fire? Yeah, it was. But another witness, Ryan Householder, came forward this weekend to say he was in his yard on the opposite side of the highway and did not see flames. There was no, no like bracing up to it. There was no smoke. You know what I mean? There was no like tire flat, nothing like that. Sunday afternoon, the NTSB's Mark Rosekind told reporters investigators are looking into both accounts. Our fire expert, reviewed the median and highway and found no physical evidence of fire before the impact. Nothing is ruled out yet. The NTSB has located the bus's black box but has not yet downloaded the data. The one on the FedEx truck was destroyed in the collision. A preliminary report is due in 30 days. Sources tell CBS News the bus company has now hired a San Francisco-based law firm and its own investigators. Jeff. All right, Mark, thank you very much.